Sometimes we have to work with optional values. In Rust, if you say that something is a string, it cannot be anything but a string, meaning it cannot be a string or null, it has to be a string. So to work with optional values, we can wrap these in an option. Let's make a function where we look up a player by ID. And let's say that we only have one player that we can look up with the ID of one. So this won't compile because ID could be anything but one as well. And if that's the case, then what are we gonna return? We can use option here. So in the case that we have an ID of one, we can return some Krabby. And if we don't have an ID of one, we can return none. We've written our return type as option string. That means that we either return some string or none. If we change this from a string to a U32, it means we will return some number or none. In Rust, we can actually import variants directly from an enum. That means we don't have to type the name of the enum every time we want to use one of its variants. Since option and all its variants are so commonly used in Rust, they are imported by default if you use the standard library. That means we don't have to do that. Now we can finally use our lookup player function. If we find a player, we'll assign it to the player variable, otherwise we'll do an early return. Since most things in Rust are expressions, we can use an expression to assign a player variable. If we have some player name, we'll assign that to the player variable, and if we have none, we'll do an error return. This is such a common pattern in Rust that there is actually a shorthand for doing this, as long as run game will return an option. So let's change that. We'll return an empty tuple, also known as a unit. We can now comment out our previous code and replace it with one line where we just add a question mark after the function call. The question mark operator roughly replaces the code that we have above, where it will return a none if lookup player returns a none. Note that the commented out code above is actually invalid since it doesn't return an option in the event of none. Now we can use our player name and run this. And there's our player.